up everyone welcome back to greens and gold appreciate y'all watching as usual on this episode i wanted to talk to you about what the soil what happens to the soil when you bury some crawfish in the ground i buried crawfish maybe uh probably nine or ten months ago or so and there's a hole back over here i'll show you guys in a minute i just filled it in with crawfish and uh, put some soil and mulch on top and just wanted to show you guys what it looks like after 10, 10 months. I'd like to think after 10 months the crawfish has already broken down and uh, it's applying fertilizer for the soil but let's dig down and see what we can find. Well here it is. Uh, this is where I buried the crawfish at and I think this was uh, this was uh, where a tree used to be at one point and it fell over and laid, left a little hole in the ground so to speak. I just used that to kind of fill it in with crawfish and time to dig it up and see what it looks like. Kind of what it is you can see the crawfish is already pretty much broken down completely and the soil I think it's adding quite a bit of good nutrients to the soil it's all broken down it smells pretty good to me there's no evidence of crawfish left and the smell is definitely gone now it has a funky smell it had a funky smell for about two weeks after i buried it now that's long gone but yeah i think it looks pretty good good and fertile what do y'all think? I think I'm gonna go ahead and add that to, uh, to my compost pile, or maybe even direct to the gardens. But anyway, thanks for watching. Just wanted to make a quick video on uh, what it looks like after uh, you bury crawfish. Look, I even got um, cups from the crawfish boil in there. Anyway, thanks for watching. Be sure if y'all like it, give it a big thumbs up, and uh, I'll take it easy.